Hi my crickets. Okay, yes, we're back and we are ready to go. Okay, so what we're going to be making today is my adaptation of a chicken Thai soup. It actually came from an Nigella recipe, but I've tweaked it to what I like. So let's hope that you'll like it too and we keep sharing. Okay, so let's get to business. Okay, so we have got in here to help to save time um, about a quarter of a packet of the fresh coriander one shallot three cloves of garlic all blitzed together and that's what you get nice little paste okay we've got one tin of sweet corn two spring onions chopped uh, we've got one lime we're gonna zest this and we're gonna um, use the juice on this as well um, we've got a liter of stock We've got some bean sprouts, but we won't be using all that bean sprouts. And in the fridge, we've got 200 ml of coconut milk, reduced coconut milk. We've got half a cooked chicken. So you get this from the deli counter, take the skin off and rip it apart. There you go. There's your chicken. Okay, so we've got some um, mascarpone sugar. This is the lighter version of it. We've got three tablespoons of turmeric. Uh, this is called sumac now it's more of a middle eastern spice but i quite like it and it's kind of got a citrus flavor to it so it's quite nice in things okay and then we have got uh some green thai curry paste now because i'm a little bit soft and i don't like chili i can't really take chili i thought this was a better option so i've put this in so that's what we're going to do with that okay and we've got some fish sauce as well Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our... Oh, and we've got some vermicelli noodles over here. Now, what I'm going to do with these is, while we're trying to get everything else sorted, is I'm just going to put some boiling water over the top of them. Don't worry if it doesn't cover it too much. Um, what I tend to do is, if it really isn't covering it enough, go over to the hot sink and just pop it on and pop the hot tap on. So it goes really, 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 really hot. Um, add a bit on top okay so these shouldn't really take that long to, um, to soften we just really want to put them there for a second okay so what I am going to need is I'm going to need a saucepan Okay, so, so what I've got is, is I've obviously got my oil. Now, I'm using rapeseed oil. Um, it burns at a higher temperature, and it's perfect for this type of thing. Now, I did say a saucepan, and as Gary pointed out, this is a wok. So, either if you want to use it, you can make the soup in here, or you can make a soup in over here. But I just want to fry everything off, so we've got it. Now, mine's a non-stick, so that's why I like it on my wok. It doesn't stick at all. Um, now pop all your mix in so you want that in because what we really want to do is we want to start frying off our onions and our garlic and everything and we want to fry off all the lovely um, spices that were going in here so pop that in that's the sumac now you can buy sumac I bought it from the supermarket with A but I think you can buy it from uh, the supermarket with M as well so don't worry too much if you can't find it. Um, if not, just use the turmeric. It's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just... So put a little bit of your sugar in. And then we're just going to fry this. Okay, can you see them lovely colours? Now, because I'm using the wok, I think I'm going to stick to the wok. And I'm going to put all my flavours into here because it's nicer and nice and thick. Mm, lovely. Now um, I'm going to put a tiny bit of salt in. I know we're using fish sauce so we don't want too much but you do want to season your food as well. Um, not very nice if you don't have seasoned food but um, I was experimenting today. I was making fritter rolls to see whether or not I could actually do it for a cooking with Yanni video. They've come out pretty well so um so we might be doing one of them for video as well but for the moment we're doing this so 
if you find that it is catching a little bit on the bottom of your saucepan or pan um, get yourself a ladle and literally put a tiny bit of stock in the bottom not only will this help release your sauces but it will also help it stop from burning if it has gone again just put another ladle in kind of like what you would do risotto um, but still it helps frying it off so rather than putting loads in okay so i'm going to go and fry this off and then when i come back i'll show you what to do with the rest of it bye for now okay so i've just literally taken it off the hob just for the moment so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put our zest into this Now, I do love my TV chefs. Um, I think they're really good sometimes to get a chef that you really like um, and you find easy to use. Um, I like Nigel Slater as well. He is fantastic and he's so simple with his food. You can follow the recipes so easily. And uh, the Gino de Campo ones are quite good as well at the moment. So you can use that and um, if you're just beginning as well you want something like that you want to be able to have something that you can follow but it's not too confusing because oh, sometimes some of the things is like sauteing this and sauteing that and, and mixing in this and it's like uh, when you're first starting out you don't really understand um, what they mean but I would advise if you're not 100% sure that's the line going in I put a tiny bit of our uh, Thai curry powder in as well um, if you're not entirely sure what I mean or what someone on um, one of the TV chefs mean go onto YouTube pop it in and I can guarantee most of the time you can find how to do it so um, just a little tip there okay so I'm only putting a couple of our bean sprouts in so put about half the bag now like I've said before um, Please don't eat bean sprouts when they're not cooked. Bean sprouts may taste nice when they're not cooked, but they're actually quite poisonous to humans when they're not cooked. So, sad. Gary's showing a sad face. It is very sad because obviously you don't want to get ill. So, please don't do that. I, I, I don't want any lawsuits on my hand either. So, there you go. Okay, so... We're just going to fry these bits off. As you can see now, my vermicelli noodles are all done. So I've put three in there, but to, to be honest, I could have put a little bit less in there. But that's me. That's cooking with Yanni. So there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to fry these off just for a little bit so they go nice and soft. And I'm also going to put in our fish sauce. So you need a couple of drops. So one two now fish sauce is quite salty so that's why i didn't want to put too much of the salt into the um into the soup because you can guarantee that you'll put too much fish sauce in or something like that and you end up um tasting of really saltiness so you want the balance that's the whole point of this it's got the sweet the salty and the sour typical thai asian style so pop them in and then we're going to pop in our sweet corn mix it all in. I think one tin's enough um, it's only the little one that I get from um, in the supermarket called tea now it looks like that it's really tiny it's really small but it does just enough for two people I mean really this soup can serve about three to four people um, depending on what your appetite is I suppose really okay so I'm going to start putting our stock in oh do you know what whatever pour it in okay so I've left a little bit of the stock because I've got a feeling that it's going to be quite a lot once I start putting all the other bits in so pop that in and it's at this point you actually want to try it as well and see 
what you need if I can find a spoon. Hmm. It's very nice. And I'm getting the hit of the um, Thai sauce, but I think it needs it. It needs a little bit more. In fact, I'm just going to put it all in. There we go. Okay, because I have still got the lime and I have still got the chicken and everything, so I can balance it out if I need to. So, put that there. I'm going to put a little bit more of the lime in because I think it needs the lime as well to hit it back up now you can do this in a juicer i normally have gary who's my royal juicer but at the moment gary is filming so we have no royal juicer so it's up to me all on my laurels to do it myself good job it wasn't a lemon okay so that's all that now i'm gonna try it again mm. That lime's really coming through now, it's really nice. And the spice, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more sugar in. Just a tiny bit, not much more. I don't think it needs any more. Bit of zest. Okay, so my noodles are done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally cut them a little bit. So they're not so long in the soup, because I don't really like that in my soup but if you do then keep them a bit more whole so um just give them a good haircut <laughs> that wasn't the best um, analogy of that but there you go right there we go it's a bit better okay so there's that so we're gonna put about half in Go. I'll maybe put more in because it is a soup after all. We do want a bit of soupiness as well. Okay, so mix this in. I want to put our chicken in. I always put the chicken in at the last minute because I don't want my chicken to overcook so just put pop it in there we go let's mix it all together mm. I must say this is one of my favourite soups so warming and comforting and when you've not had a bad day or you're a bit tired or you just need something as a little bit of a pick-me-up this is your dish okay so I'm gonna bring that over there I've bought the coconut milk out now because um, it was in the fridge but I wanted to give it a little bit of time to mix in so pour in your coconut milk this is the reduced coconut milk remember so if you want to use um, if you want to use a bit more of a normal coconut milk you're more than welcome to it's just that I like to have it reduced less fat you can eat more then <laughs> I'm sure my mum wouldn't say it works it does work like that okay give it a good mix And then we're going to reduce the temperature and we're going to let it set we're going to let it boil like simmer just for a couple of minutes and then um and then we're going to do the rest now if you feel there isn't enough stock or um coconut milk in there we have only used 200 and it was 400 ml can you can always add a little bit more in all right so we'll see you in a minute when it's ready bye for now okay so our soup's nice and boiled, so I'm going to pop it over here, shut that, don't need that open. Okay, now, um, with the last little bit of coriander that I had, I've literally just quickly chopped it up, and then I'm going to sprinkle it over the top, because I like it to have a little bit of a prettiness to it. If you're serving it, it's got to look nice. 
because you've spent a long time doing it. Okay. And there you go. There is your Thai chicken and noodle soup. Well, thank you very much for watching my croquettes. I'm really pleased to be back. I've been a lot more myself. Um, you know the drill. Please like, please comment because it keeps the page going and keep on sharing. Okay, so I will see you next time, my croquettes. Bye for now.